This is Joe. <laughs> My name is Joe Packham, and I'm happy to be here. Okay, wait. All right, you ready? Okay. Women are often asked what achievements they're most proud of, and I think that has to fall into categories. Of course, as a woman and as a mother, um, I'm extremely proud of my children and what they've accomplished in spite of me. I think they're wonderful and loving and giving and successful and um, secure. As far as business is concerned, I am extremely proud of the fact that I never gave up. So, because in business, what people see on the outside is one success after another. They never see the failures and the long nights and the tears. And I think the fact that when you've had a really long day and you, and you go to bed and you get up in the morning and you think, you know, I'm going to try it one more time. The magazine is a perfect example. We tried it once and it didn't work and we worked really hard and I thought it was the end of the world. And um, it was five years before we had the opportunity to try it again. And I think the fact that I was brave enough to try it one more time when it had been so devastating the first time, I'm extremely proud of that and extremely proud of the fact that my mother instilled within me the courage to just try it one more time maybe in a different way from a different perspective, but give it one more try. I think all of the um, areas that we're involved in, food, DIY, publishing, the writing of books, is all about women who are creative and who have a story. I believe that everything a woman does, she does in a creative way, and I believe that every woman has a story to tell. Women are creative in everything they do and they don't often get the um, recognition they deserve and they very seldom get to tell the story in their own way. So that's what we try to do through everything that we produce, um, the magazine, Sizzix, wherever we are. I think there is a time in everyone's life where when you have an aha moment that brings you to the point where you are today. I've always been an entrepreneur, but um, I was married and my husband went to law school and. We were alone in Sacramento and I was desperate for friends. So I took a night class at the local junior high school because I could walk. The only class available was uh, batiking. And when I walked in the class, I sat on the back row and found out it was an art class with the die resist. And a woman walked in and sat next to me and her name was Martha. And she became my very best friend in all the world and she loved crafts. And if I was going to be Martha's friend, I had to love crafts too. So she taught me everything I know. And I learned how to knit and crochet and make baskets and quilt. And what I got from Martha, which always makes me cry, was um, the passion of it all. She loved working with her hands so much. And it was a very valuable gift that she gave that I've never lost. I was introduced to Sizzix um, in the very beginning. I've been in the industry for 35 years. So I was there in the early days um, when Sizzix first started. I'm not a DIYer. I consider myself a crafter. So I knew Sandy Genovese because she worked with Sizzix and we were good friends and I always saw everything she did. Eileen Hall. Um, called me, who's one of Sizzix designers, and um, Eileen was like a little pit bull, and she kept on me because she kept saying, you know, it's you've got so many great ideas and you've got such a great audience that we can take it from a different perspective. So with um, Sandy still here and with Eileen, they brought me into the fold, and I will be eternally grateful for being here. I love this job. <laughs> With Sizzix, I saw the possibility of what can be done for non-DIYers in the food industry because we want to make a hundred labels for jams or jellies and we want to do it in a hurry, but we want them to be individualized and we want them to be pretty. And that's what I saw Sizzix as the possibility of doing, something to give another audience an opportunity to be creative and do something individual and I think the possibilities are endless. And so that really inspired my whole Sizzix line. It was how can I take the basic of what I do that I love so much and make it a gift 
or pretty or look nice on a shelf if I choose to sell it, all those kinds of things, and the parties. I'm a party giver and I'm an hors d'oeuvre girl. So you always want to find a way to present your little party items so everybody oohs and ahs, you know, makes you feel really good when you do that. So that's what inspired my line with Sizzix. To be here at Sizzix is like being on vacation for me because you get to go into these workrooms where people do what they love all day long. I mean, you have to think it through, you have to rework it. Um, I wanted a fortune cookie and Jen took her three days to figure out how to do this really simple design. But they're so inspiring, they're so enthused, they have such great materials. I mean, they truly love their job. Here at Sizzix, um, Kristen Denzel, who listens to me every day, Beth and Jen, who make me look better than I could ever be myself, who are behind the scenes, who never get the credit. I want to make sure that, I, that they know I'm sincerely appreciative and very thankful of everything they do, so thank you.